Gladiator 2. Dave, um, so I know we were talking about this. This movie is a sequel to the first one that came out 20, almost 25 years ago. Basically 25 years ago, yeah. Sitting at 24, creeping up on 25. Um, it is a sequel to the first one, so um, do I, I can give a little recap. Would you like me to give a little recap to everybody? Yeah, yeah, give a little recap, because I'm so, not sure if everybody knows even what happened in the first movie. Yeah, um, <laughs> basically, there's it's the Roman Empire in, what year was it? Like 180, 180, 1880 AD or something like that? 180 AD, I think that's yeah. what it is. Okay, but and essentially... General Maximus, who is the main character, leads his army to victory against the Germanic barbarians. Woohoo! Right? He wins. And so the emperor of Rome, Marcus, I'm going to butcher this, Aurelius? Aurelius? Aurelius. Aurelius. Thank you, Dave. Aurelius. Aurelius. Yeah. Um, was like, oh, thank you so much, Maximus. I love you. And I want you to take over as the emperor of Rome. However, here comes the greedy son that wants to become the emperor, uh, Commodus, Commodus, Commodus. Very, very well done. Thank you, Commodus. Also played by a very young Joaquin Phoenix. Yes, very yep. young Joaquin Phoenix. And so he's jealous, and he ends up killing Marcus and names himself the emperor and frames Maximus of Marcus's death, right? And so he imprisons him, and Maximus ends up escaping to later find out that his family has been lynched and burned and yeah it, essentially commodus has killed his family and maximus now wants to he buries his family and ends up passing out it's very random that he just passes out on his family's grave and gets imprisoned again by the uh what proc i can't say the word either the Essentially, the people that are going to make him a gladiator he imprisons him, and then the people that imprison him to be a gladiator is turns out to be one of the gladiator people chosen to fight in the games, the gladiator games. And in the end, this is really a quick recap. In the end, Maximus gets faces Commodus to get revenge in the fight and essentially kills him. Maximus dies. Spoiler alert. And... Yeah. Ruin movie ruined. Yeah. And <laughs> movie ruined. And, Spoiler alert. <laughs> but okay, twenty five years ago, you, you have to have had watched it by now. Unless, obviously, if you were excited about this one, you're like, "What well, happened in the first one?" Well, I just ruined it for you. Yeah, you did do that. I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll just go jump in now. You, you can because I ruined it for you. But essentially, yeah, he just he wants revenge for his family's death, and he ends up dying in the end as well. And now, fast forward twenty five years. From that, kind of ironic, 25 years from when the last movie was made to the timeline of the movie, and that's where Gladiator 2 comes into play. Uh, guys, absolutely amazing movie. If you've never seen it, if you've never seen Gladiator, I know Russell Crowe has a little bit of a tarnished name uh, at the moment, but this is very early Russell Crowe um, and just delivers the performance of a lifetime, man. This is such a great movie, and honestly, I'm going to be real honest here. I think the coolest part about Gladiator 2 is is that a lot of people are going to go back and watch Gladiator 1. I think it's probably the coolest part about this movie, if we're going to be honest. I, I was going to say that, and partially, so this movie has kind of come up and down in talks of being remade. Um, it has been in talks since 2003, and so this movie came out, or like Gladiator 1 came out in 2000, and the reason why this one kind of been like dropped and picked up and dropped and picked up is they had issues with, writing the script and two like financial issues difficulties and so that's really where this game or this movie has struggled not becoming a sequel and it's almost kind of been forgotten and it's almost that my question is is this too late now is this movie too late that was my number one question i'm like why now like you know like we've seen this before and i know i always bring up this example with dumb and dumber but it's just like at some times like just too much time has passed you know what i mean it's it it's like number one is a classic like it's 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 hit classic territory where now it's like you don't want to mess with it like you don't like you probably shouldn't even mess with it and that's kind of where i stand on it with too and i think what's 
kind of not disappointing to me, but what really is, it's essentially the same movie. It's got the same plot line in a, in a way. Yeah, it's a little different in terms of like, so um, should we just roll the trailer too and kind of talk about it? Yeah. So we're just going to roll the trailer. We're kind of just, oh, wrong trailer here. Um, there we go. Um, we're just going to roll the trailer and kind of talk about the plot line as it's going through. And so who you're seeing here is Lucius, who is the son of Lucilla, who is also in the first movie. And essentially... Lucius real quick if you don't if you don't know who that is um so the the flashbacks that we're seeing of that little kid like you said is the son but um the relationship if you've never seen the movie is that is the nephew of Joaquin Phoenix's character so he yeah when he was a kid he was present to watch um Maximus kill his uncle yep yep yeah. exactly yeah. and so the storyline with the going for is Lucius's brothers actually imprison him, and now they want him to fight as a gladiator. And the whole premise of this movie is that Lucius wants to exact revenge and free the slavery and end the yeah the slavery in Roman times, and that's kind of what it's going on for. However, this one seems to have a lot more action in it, and I think that's where the main difference is for this one. So. Yeah, there's a lot more action that we're seeing outside of the gladiator arena. Yep. Um, in the original movie, there was obviously some war scenes, but that all kind of took place in the beginning. Yep. Um, the original movie really took place inside of the arena, right. and the story between Maximus and every and all the main characters was very, very prominent. This feels like it has a lot more going on outside of that. Right, and honestly, aside from the fact that, like, why now? I love the Roman Empire. Like, that era of history it's one of my favorite that in greek mythology like these are my two favorite things in like one um or not in one because it's not greek obviously but this is one of my favorite history eras and honestly i just i don't know the overall feel of the movie just doesn't really fit with the roman empire if that makes sense I 100% agree with yeah. you on both points. It's one of my favorite time periods. Yeah. I like. I'm not gonna lie. I want to love this movie right. so much. Like I want to love this movie so much. But it, you're right, dude. It just doesn't fit. And like, if you guys are just listening, and if, if you're not, if you're not able to see the trailer, you don't know anything about this. Like, Denzel Washington is in this movie. Like, and I don't know, dude. Like, I, I like. Denzel, okay, Denzel Washington is a fantastic actor, and Denzel's yeah. gonna do Denzel. He's going to be Denzel in this movie. He's yeah. gonna be the same kind of like vibe that he always is, which yeah. is fantastic. But for this movie specifically, it like doesn't work. Like right. it doesn't fit. Like I don't. We're it does it just doesn't fit the vibe. Like we're listening yeah. to Jay Z as the music. It's it's like what this is not right. Like it just right. it just feels off. And, you know what I mean? And that's kind of where I was going with it. A lot of comments are in saying it's like, oh, what did it say? Uh, I can't remember what it said, but there was one funny comment that actually mentioned the Denzel and Jay-Z comment. And like you said, Denzel is an amazing actor. He's one of my favorite actors. And One of my favorites, too. Yeah. And I really enjoyed him and The Equalizer and a bunch of other movies. Uh, da Vinci Code is one of my favorites, to be honest. Um, yeah. But with this movie, I just, like you said... Denzel Washington feels like Denzel Washington in every movie he plays. And yeah. It, and it, there's no change with this. And it doesn't really fit with a Roman empire. In my, like, and like you said, like it doesn't fit in my opinion. It doesn't fit in your opinion. But I mean, like, like we said, dude, like Denzel is going to be Denzel. And that's fantastic. I just think in the context of this movie in this time period, like it just doesn't work. Like it just, it just, it just feels. If, yeah, it's weird. It feels off. If he feels like a character that would not be in this time period. But what do we know? We're not the, the casting directors. And I, I wonder if, like, because the cast is pretty, like, solid. Like, everybody that's in this movie. So we have Lucius is Paul Mescal, uh, Lucilla, who is Connie Nielsen. That She was in the original. Um, Emperor Geta. I'm probably going to say these wrong. Geta. Uh, Joseph Quinn. Marcus um, Achaius. That's who Pedro is playing. Uh, Macromus, and that's Denzel, and then Ap Emperor Carsal, that's Fred Eichenberg. So the cast is a solid cast, and I think that's probably what's selling some excitement is like, oh, it's a star-studded cast. But at the same time, it's like, 
does this cast work for this movie? Do you want my honest opinion here, dude? I'm going to say no, it does not. What this is really showing me is, like, I think just a bunch of, like, kind of old corporate executives kind of were, like, sitting around a table, and they were like, let's try to make something cool like you know when like yeah. the old the old guy kind of shows up and like he's trying to be cool and yeah. you're like kind of playing along but it's definitely not cool yeah you know but he's I mean? like the that, boss but he's the boss so you act like it's cool i feel like that's exactly what happened because if you look at it they're like okay what do we what should we do all right let's let's take a um let's take a, a new actor who's really hot right now pedro pascal coming off the last of us let's take a um established a very actor. a very established actor denzel washington right yep. let's take a franchise that was really popular let's bring that back let's add some trendy kind of music yep. let's get a big name director in ridley scott yep. who directed the original yeah who directed the original you know what i mean and it's like I feel like they were just like, this is like the corporate executive's idea of like, let's make a cool movie that it's not, it's, but it's not cool. Let's make you know a I mean? cool movie that isn't an original idea. Well, that, of course it's not an original. No, idea. that's what I mean. Yeah. But yeah, nothing's original. anymore. But <laughs> yeah, what I'm original. saying is like, what can we try to squeeze as much juice out of an orange with something that's already made? Exactly. Because they know old, older people are going to love it because they've loved Gladiator is a great movie. New, then they're trying to entice a new audience to come in. Who's never seen Gladiator with Pedro Pascal, who's super hot right now with like adding this like kind of upbeat, trendy music to it. Like, I don't, I don't know. We we say all the time, like they just made video game, the game. This is like the movie, the movie, the gladiator, gladiator. Basically it's like, what, how can we bring, the original gladiator movie to this decade with all the special effects and the people that are headlining today in terms of the movie industry and that's what we have it's like the only thing they're missing is like let's let's jam pack a hawk to a meme in oh, there yeah. somewhere <laughs> dun, dun. oh no here we go but um <laughs> capability wise of like bringing a roman like coliseum gladiator in 2024 such a cool concept I just don't think they're nailing it in the right way with who they have and storyline. Fine. That's fine. Like it, they're kind of going along with it. It's kind of random in my opinion. Like, Oh, uh, who's from the first movie that was so young, but now he can bring him in. Okay. Lucius, he got kidnapped by his brother is, and they're making him into a gladiator. Like so random, but I mean, I don't, yeah, but I, it, I'm going to watch it because I love the first movie. I'm going to watch the first movie again and again because it's such a good, solid piece of cinema. Like I, I love the movie, and I'm excited to watch it again and again, but um, this one doesn't have my excitement as much as the first time watching like Gladiator 1. It's a fantastic movie. Glad The original Gladiator is a fantastic movie. If you guys have not seen it, definitely go and check it out. Um, I know we might get a little bit of hate for what we said about Gladiator 2, but I assure you, um, if you look at the comments and most of these trailers, um, I don't know, a lot of people kind of feel the same way, man. Like they really, there's not a lot of excitement about this movie. I'm going to watch this movie, but I'm going to go into it with extremely low expectations. Um, when it... Yeah, because when it comes to story or whatever, I'm already kind of knowing that, like, I don't know. It's I, I just feel like it's not going to be great, so low expectations. If it is great, amazing. But um, I'm going into it for the sole fact that gladiators are just badass, man, and I want to see all those I want to see all those scenes where they're fighting in the Coliseum. I think what's going to really drive this movie to be better than the story and the cast and is the special effects and just the brutality of being a gladiator in the Roman Coliseum. And that's why I'm excited. And honestly, like at the end of the day, who knows, maybe that's all I need it to be when I'm watching this movie and not really care about the, the overall story, but just see people getting destroyed, fighting a rhino coming at you. With, I don't know. I'm pretty excited about in that sense. But other than that, I'm not, my expectations are a little more lower than I would like for this movie, but not to say I'm going to go in there saying, oh, I'm going to hate this movie. I'm going in there hoping to like it, knowing that I might be disappointed. Yeah, I mean, if you guys are a fan of the original, I would say check it out. Keep your expectations low. If anything, you're just going to see some pretty badass fights in a Coliseum scene. And to be honest, the original scenes in the original Gladiator movie where they are fighting in the Coliseum were already badass. And now we have 25 years of improvements on 
special effects. Like these are gonna be sick.